different ones. Are there two of them? They're yeah, all different. So they always get new ones. Oh, okay. It's fine. I am going to read to you pieces from another show. Okay. What I'm going to start with, he, um, you mentioned the fact that sometimes I try to find little haikus to shove in between. Yes, yes. And this was a apparently weird piece in there that it needed a haiku at the end. And it was called Thought. Thought. A thousand wars are fought in your honor. Swinging battle axes. Um, but that was just a little to see. I'm an editor of magazines and stuff. Yeah, but I have a story to have just a little space left and give room for that. Yeah. That's why that's there. That is why that is there. I run two literary magazines. I might as well say this. CCMB Magazine, founded in 1993 in June, um, which means the next issue I'm going to be releasing is the 26th year anniversary of CCMB. I got to come up with a photo for it. <laughs> I haven't been able to figure out it yet. And the other one used to be a subsection of CC and Dean. It's called Down in the Dirt. And I think I'm putting under the sun loves the name Down in the Dirt, so I have a lot of stuff about it. Um, which is why I had to limit it. Flash fiction, no more than 100 or 1600 words. I'm like, I'm not taking any novels for various skills. I just can't. <laughs> but there's just too much stuff. So, anywho, those are the two magazines. And this is a uh, collection book of some of the issues of CC and Dean in 2018. That's what I'm reading from. This is where I live. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, so these are a few pieces in the performance in another performance art section in this volume. And this one is called Violations Tested. <laughs> Was driving to see someone who had so little time off for lunch. Was running late, still a few miles on a stretch of 120 to their office. So, although the sign said 30, I went 55, <laughs> following a cop speeding down the street. So after about a mile, this copper turns his lights on and signals me over. <sighs> and he walks over to my Saturn, asks me if I knew how fast I was going. And I replied, saying, I, I don't know, I was just following you, sir. <laughs> And I waited. <laughs> if he wrote me a ticket, there'd be a record of him speeding without, well, not while being in his pursuit. And if he wrote me a ticket, his faults would be found and cops want to think that they're invincible. So the cop finally said to me, after looking at me for more than a moment, watch what you're doing and watch your speed in the future. <laughs> That's all he said. And I nodded my head very subserviently. Yes, sir. And I, a little bit slower, went on my way. <laughs> this one is <clears throat> a poem. It's called I'm Thinking About Myself Too Much. <laughs> <laughs> How could that happen? How could that ever happen? <laughs> All my life. All my life has always been about you. What do you need? What do you want? What can I do for you? How can I help you? And for now, I want to, I start to live. And now you tell me that I'm thinking about myself too much. And I think back to all the time that I've spent with you and all of the care that I've given you. And now you tell me that I'm thinking about myself too much. And I've cooked for you and I've cleaned for you and I've made sure everything in your world made sense. And now you tell me that I'm thinking about myself too much. <laughs> and all I can think is that you're only angry because I'm thinking about me at all. Yeah, yeah. This is a long one and it's not as funny, but I'll try to make it fun. Mm -hmm. This is called Only Half the Story. He was a troubled man. He, he had a good life but let demons in to do him in. In his struggles, he almost died a number of times. And even his family pushed him away and only heard news of his death after he was already cremated. And it makes me wonder if our love for him ever completely went away. Because after all the mistakes were made, I, I want to believe that he's worth more than his demons reduced him to. I want to remember how when I worked retail, he brought the biggest teddy bear he bought it through me when he had just found out that his wife was pregnant with their first child. I guess it was a fun way for me to get the news too. 
I, I want to remember how he'd come home after plowing too many streets across, uh, to count that were just filled with feet after feet of snow, that, that little icicles would be hanging off of his mustache from his breath. I want to remember him picking me up once from the airport, and he decided to pay the airport parking machine with pennies. <laughs> And so we're dropping pointless pennies through this machine and we're laughing at regurgitating pennies that were once only just wasted space in this truck's ashtray. I want to remember that a friend from his youth, who, who was shorter than me by the time I was 12, that his friend decided that my nickname was Shorty. <laughs> I want to remember how when I'd see him swim, he'd wear tiny Speedos. And that might sound strange, but he got a college scholarship for diving. And then he was a near Olympic diver once in competitions with medal winners like Greg Luganis. And he'd go to the diving board, and suddenly this contract, um, construction, concrete construction company owner would spring with such skill as he flipped through the air before making the tiniest tear and splash next to nothing through that sheet of water that would shatter like glass in the sky if anyone else tried to do the same dive other than him. <laughs> you see, I want to remember these little slices of his oh, life. Way these windows into his acts of kindness. How he was the kind of guy that would want to give the shirt off his back to a man who needed it. I want to remember this because I want to believe that he wasn't always lost. I want to believe that even though he erred, we should no longer condemn him, but condemn the things that did this to him. So I try not to remember the demons but remember the man inside. I want to believe. And this is why I must remember. Yeah, and I'll just do a funny little one at the end, which I always think of the guy who's now running my own poetry even like because he used to have to think about it. make everything crosses down for cemetery, for grave sites and stuff. So I always think of my buddy David. This is called Build Your Own Cross, really short. Good closing piece, why? be a carpenter. Why build your own cross when Walmart can do it for you? Uh. <laughs> Selling mass-produced two-feet-tall wooden crosses with glued plastic flowers to hammer into the roadsides for accident victims. I mean, why be a carpenter? Why build your own cross when Walmart can do it for you?